What about the squishy bits in dinosaurs? Uh, so it was first discovered uh, some uh, soft, uh, you know, fleshy material was found in, in dinosaur bone by Mary Schweitzer, okay, an American uh, paleontologist. Now, uh, when it first came out, almost nobody believed her. Now, bear in mind, she's not a creationist by any stretch of the imagination at all, okay? Uh, she's, she's quite against it. But she found this stuff and she had to report on it. And most people didn't believe her, okay? And then what happened is we began finding even more examples of it. Now, the reason we'd never found it before is because if you find a really nicely preserved dinosaur bone, you tend to look after it because they're not the most common things in the world. They're fairly valuable. You tend to look after it. In fact, Mary Schweitzer actually found it by dropping a really nice bit of dinosaur bone and thinking, oh, it's dropped. I might as well have a good study of it and actually found the soft uh, tissue inside. Okay, and what we've found out is that now we actually know it's there and now we're looking for it deliberately in the really nicely preserved fossils. We're actually finding it a lot, lot more. Uh, a recent one has been found in, uh, you know, the Triceratops, the one with the three horns. One of the horns, they've actually found one of these and it's full of this soft material. It's actually being analysed by the Creation Research Society in America and they're basically going to uh, kind of analyse it to death. They're going to do everything they possibly can. But what we're finding is that there's a lot, lot more uh, soft tissue, uh, you know, bits of muscles, that kind of stuff that we'd ever, ever, ever thought of before. And uh, the very presence of it, you see, the way that they come combat this right is the paleontologists will say oh look soft tissue can obviously survive for a lot longer than we thought they don't even think that perhaps the millions of years are wrong they just say oh look soft tissue can survive for a lot longer than we thought problem paleontologists study dead things let's actually go and ask the l people who study the living things how likely it is for this stuff to still be to be soft after 65 to 100 million years old, okay? Well, you can do that and you can ask them. Uh, a classic one is Professor Ed Neeland, okay? He builds molecules for a living. That's what he does. He says, quote unquote, the chances of finding soft tissue in dinosaur bones would be on par with him finding milk that was 40 years old and still drinking because it's fresh. In other words, it's impossible. From a biological perspective, it is impossible to find soft tissue in bone that old and that's not all it's not you hear about you know the famous one is obviously the soft tissue in dinosaur bones but you can find it elsewhere you can go and dig up fossil wood in the uk and you can burn it it's still fresh supposedly i mean we're talking jurassic so you're looking at somewhere uh, around you know somewhere around 95 million years old okay and you can find wood that can still burn it's still fresh it's still got car fresh carbon in it and you can burn it that shouldn't be possible if it was about you know 95 million years old to find would like that. Uh, and then another experiment which we did, which we actually actually got published in our in our creation research book, Flood Fossils, uh, fish, fossil fish that you find, right? If you start dropping, uh, you know, little bits of acetic acid on it, so basically vinegar or a very weak form of acid on it, and you slowly begin dissolving the scales, what you actually find underneath is you still have all the muscle fibers soft and present and perfect all still sitting there and if you want to find out the exact details of all of this because this was research that was done by a chap called vance nelson who is one of the guys on our creation research uh, ministry team if you go to creationresearch.net and just search for it in the in the search there we've also got a brand new website called the fact file uh, which has got all the information in there you can find all the exact details about the result and the experiments that was done on it because it was done really well it was done professionally and it was all reported on professionally as well so all the details are on there go and check it out but basically you were they found soft tissue fresh muscle fibers in carboniferous fish okay possible if it was really as old as they say. So dinosaur bone, soft tissue in there, it's a classic example, but we're now finding it, it's actually soft tissue in a lot of other things as well.